Welcome. Today, what we're going to look at is automating um, some things, three tasks with shortcuts. I have a bunch of things. Every time I finish a book, I want to make sure I automate and have all the same tasks in there so that I remember them. And then I also have writing projects um, and I need to email a three or four people at the end. So this is going to be two different shortcuts. Well, really one. I'm going to show you it in one. I actually have it as two separate shortcuts. First one is going to be building out my book project, which takes one shortcut. And the second one is going to be, or the I'm going to show you the extension to that where I add notes to a task inside a shortcut um, to an existing project that I'm creating all in one shot. So if you're looking to automate things three with shortcuts, today's your lucky day. So what I've got here is the support.culturedco.com and there's a big URL, but you, there'll be a link for it in the description. So you can just get right here. And what we're going to start uh, and I have the, on the other side, I have things three open so that I know what I'm doing. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this in. So we're going to call this book project and we're filling it in so that we know what needs to happen. Um, and if there's any notes that you need below the project, if you look on things three side, there's the notes. So that would be here. So if you're going to need any notes there, you can take that. Um, if you want to do a deadline, you could do that. And what I found the best way to do this is, is to start out and fill in any information that you're going to want later. So if just make up a due date, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we'll actually replace them with shortcuts fields in a minute. So any tags, any area. So I know that this is going to go in my content area, right? We'll see it in here already. Content dev clients. So stillness is the key. So it's going to go in my content area. So you can do the area title or ID, but you, so I can just say content and then my to do's. So my to do's are copy notes, move to DT, which stands for Devon think, right? Post. Edit post, find image for post, and publish post. And then I don't need creation date or completion date, but if I wanted it, I could have it here. So then I have my URL, which is this is what I need. This is going to create everything for me. And we'll start that, just grab it, select. Ah, see, select text selection is still a little tricky, I find, especially with a mouse, actually. copy and then I'm going to switch over to shortcuts and create a new shortcut and we can call this I'm just going to call this the demo shortcut excellent and we're going to show in widget sure show in share sheet this really depends on what you need um, I don't have any of these things I have it set up as a um, actually I have a master shortcut set up to show you or to run any of the things shortcuts I have so I have one shortcut that runs other shortcuts, but we'll just show in widget. Actually, we'll take it out of everything for now. And what we need is run things, run things URL right here. We bring it out and then we can just paste our URL in. So if I was to run this now, it would create a project and let's do it with command R, should run it. And I have book project, perfect. So I don't actually need this. And what you see is there's an error in here. So there's some error in here that it's not working properly because I can see that um, like it didn't parse properly, right? I have percent twenties in there. And so that means it didn't parse properly. So let's go back in here and see if we can figure that out quick. So this is an encoded URL really. So it's add project this is a query string, which I have dealt with lots as a developer, right? Percent 20 is space. Book project area is content. And to do's equals, well, it should actually be copy note anyways. So I always find the easiest way to do this is I'm gonna just cut. So I have area content book project. Let's delete this one since I don't even want it. Delete. And then we'll run it again. 
book project. So that works. So it's something in my to do's is that's not working, right? So you can see the book project, it formatted properly. I have, it says book project, not book 20% project or percent 20 project. So let's delete it again. Delete project and come back in and paste back in what I have published post. So if we look here, let's see what our issue is, copy notes. So we have to do's to, and to do's, copy notes. So again, percent 20 right here, that's a space. Percent zero A should be a new task inside. So let's just try running it again still is this. So it's an actual issue again with some of my um, tasks in there. So let's just start eliminating some tasks. Let's find out where was I content to do's. And we can cut it at the percent zero AO. So we cut out a few of them. So now we have copy notes and move to DT. So we can delete this project again. run. So it worked fine. So it wasn't those to do's. Right, copy notes, move to DT, that worked fine. Delete. So there's no going through the debugging process and instead of just showing you like a totally refined, it totally worked and easy version is because I want you to be able to see that too. So right post, right move post work. So let's just eliminate the next one. So right post. I'm just hitting copy that out, right post, and we'll run it again. Worked fine. So this is the process that I'll go through to make sure that it actually works fine. Go back in, and we'll paste. So right post was fine. Let's leave edit post in. All right, run it again with command R still works just fine. So we'll delete it. And we'll come back in again, and just add in the next one. So edit post worked fine, which means I need to leave that in. So there's edit post, find image for post, and we'll cut it out at right there, right? Publish post. So find image for post, and we'll run it again. Still works fine. All right, right for find image for post. There we go. It seems to be working fine now. I got to be honest. I am not sure why. Let's go back over to Safari. Publish post. Oh, publish post isn't in there. So it could also be that I have an extra space at the end here. It can be hard to tell. So let's go publish or find image for post worked. Publish post. Find image for post. Let's actually just type that in. So let's type that in percent. Zero A. Mm, publish and then percent 20 post. Let's see what happens now. Worked just fine. So I would guess that what the issue was for me was that I had a space or some other character that I couldn't see, couldn't see very well in iOS or couldn't see very well in um, the web browser that was making that a problem. That would be my guess is what's wrong. So, but it works right now. Copy notes, move DT, perfect. So let's delete that again, because what I really want to do is I want to be able to name this. So that means I'm going to go ask for input, ask for input. And I'm going to drop that up top. And the question is title. So if I ran this right now, what I get is a title. If I make the title, um, right, stillness book thing. So it would actually pass stillness space book space thing, which is not what I want. So I actually need to do a find, or sorry, it's replace, replace text. So I'm gonna go in here and go replace text. And so space, now you can't actually see the space with percent 20 and in provided input. And then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go back to my, so the with book project, but I'm gonna actually go in and I'm gonna delete that and I'm going to make it a, 
variable, right? So I actually like going magic variable every time so that I can make sure I'm grabbing the right one and then I can click on it and rename it. So I'm gonna rename it as um, formatted text because then I know it's formatted. And I'm gonna be done. So now let's run it. And the title is the thing. So it doesn't really matter what my title is for this. And it says the thing. Perfect, the thing. And I have my full project in there. That's excellent. So that's the first type of shortcut that I run fairly regularly. I have a few of these that I run for different things, um, just for creating new projects. So that's it. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to run our, let's go to add. So the title of this is, so let's say that after I finish a book project, I need to share it with people. So I need some emails in there. I need some other things. So in here, I'm gonna go put share with, and then you can either do notes or checklist items. I'm gonna use notes here, uh, and I'm gonna do notes. It's gonna be bob at bob.ca. I have no idea who Bob is. And test at test.ca, and that's good enough. So now we can see the format again, right? It says share with notes, Bob, and we actually need to add in the list ID. So we'll just call it holding for now. Because we're actually gonna grab the title variable we created earlier and put it in here. So we have that in there, and now we're going to copy our, again, copy our URL. What happens if I hold it long? Oh, I never actually tried that, nothing. So again, I go up here, copy, and then we're gonna run another things URL. So we'll go, oh, run things URL, drop it in the bottom here, and we're going to paste in our URL. Now remember, again, we need to add it to the list. So I'm gonna delete holding and I'm going to grab formatted text. So now that it is labeled properly, that's what it's just gonna be labeled as, formatted text. And if I wanted to add in here, you can see the at symbol right here, right? Is percent 40. So if I want to add more emails in there, I could do the percent zero A and then add in, right? Test percent 40 for at test.ca and list. So let's run this again, All right? We have that, yep. Yeah. Test with emails. Kill it, invalid URL. So, so let's debug this the same way. Technically the order of these things shouldn't matter. So let's grab our list right now. I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to drop it right in the beginning. And then I need to add an and here. So you join parameters with an and. So, because I want that to be up front. So let's take out our notes, take out the and with our notes, and let's run it again, see if it works. Test with emails too. Run worked and it did not work see show and run so let's kill show and run on that one because I don't need to double check that so it still didn't work and did we get it in our inbox we did not so it's invalid URL things triple add things yep, triple slash so again let's just take this out and see if it will work back there and we're gonna add a list it doesn't matter uh, let's just say test uh, percent 20 with percent 20 emails and so I'm going to add it try to add it to this one here test with emails publish post and it should say share post with so let's delete our test with emails to delete and in this case, it doesn't actually matter what my main is. So let's just go nothing. So it still says it's an invalid URL. So let's go back right to the beginning. Ah, that's why, probably the whole time. So you notice there was a space at the beginning. So let's, I'm just gonna jump right to the end here maybe. And add formatted text back in. 
But like I said, when you're copying URLs, it's pretty easy sometimes to copy an extra character like I think I just did. So let's run it again. Let's actually delete nothing. Delete nothing. Delete test with emails. Okay, so let's run it again with command R. Emails now. Test with emails now. Done. So I have show and run at the end here. That's perfect. We'll actually kill that because I don't want it to show and share with. Bob, perfect. And so we'll kill show and run. So that is how we're going to automate things. And that's how we're going to also um, debug it when you come to debugging. One other thing I can show you here is my run things. Where is it? Let's just search since it can be hard to find. Things, run things. So this is the one that I do to run kind of any project. Um, and it all it does is it puts a choose from menu and then it runs a bunch of conditional statements. And so I use the run shortcuts action and I run things book project. And that's it. And I should, I could show while running. That's what I have right now. I can decide um, if you're running other shortcuts, then you might need to choose which variable goes in if you're passing text back and forth, but I don't need to. So for my book project, for my GoDaddy project, for my Liquid Web project, for my Friday content project. And then I just have this shortcut right up here where it says run things. And I don't need to worry about anything else really. I just get to run things. I don't need to um, yeah, search through all the shortcuts. I don't show them anywhere else. I just hit the run thing shortcut. And then I'm off to the races. And one of the things that I've been experimenting with that hasn't worked well is actually automation shortcuts. And I don't actually need things right now, so we'll take that out. And we'll hit done. And we can cancel that. But is the automation shortcuts. I've actually tried to run this. And so this is in theory going to create my book project for me every day at 422. I think it's at sunrise. I think it's actually what I said. 422? No, I said a time. 422. And the thing is, it doesn't actually even work. So I'm gonna delete it. What that actually does right now um, when you run a scheduled shortcut is it brings it to your attention. So at 422, it runs a thing and says, hey, should I run a shortcut? And there's a notification. And that's not what I want. That doesn't help me at all. That only means I still have to type it. What I want is it for, actually, for it to actually show up. And it doesn't currently. So that's what I'm doing with things right now and things automation so that I don't forget stuff. If you have other things you wanna see, other automations you wanna see with shortcuts, let me know. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, you can make sure you don't miss any by subscribing below. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get notifications if you like notifications. Although I gotta be honest, I hate them. If you'd like to support the channel, like to make sure that the videos keep coming, that the content keeps coming, you can support me on patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Have an awesome day.